Yo, what is up folks? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Uh, last episode we did, uh, we tore apart both of these cars. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, I guess you should go check that out. I'll put a uh, card up there at the top of the screen. Basically, I'd found a donor car, we tore them all apart last episode. And this is what we're left with, is this shell and a bunch of parts that I had to repair. And then, uh... I went ahead and went through the list of all the body stuff. Pretty much all the body stuff was trash. I mean, there, I could not repair. Most of it was already missing. The glass was trash, and it was missing a door, missing a fender, missing the bumpers. I mean, so I basically just had to buy all new body panels, all new glass. But uh, all the you know parts and stuff, um, I was able to repair what I could. And we're going to throw this uh, blown motor together real quick and we'll finish this thing up so if you're new here hit that subscribe button i would definitely appreciate that uh sorry i was gone for a few weeks there but i'm back we're gonna get to some more videos here so uh yeah hit that subscribe button and uh let's jump into this last episode i said we were gonna buy the dino room and i did not so we need to buy the dino room real quick and uh, dyno that old Nissan Skyline thing. So let's jump into the toolbox and we'll buy our last piece of building here. It's the dyno, it's 20,000. I should have done this a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't, but there you go. We got us a dyno room now. So let's uh, head outside and we'll move the, move the old Nissan in there. We're gonna throw down some numbers on this thing today. Uh, just for reference, if we click on this, its factory power was 287. I'm hoping we can get 450 out of it, maybe. Maybe close to 500. 450, 500 would be, would be nice. So we're going to throw this in the dyno. Haven't been in here, never seen this crap. Oh shit, pretty cool. Oh, fancy. All right, we're gonna throw down some numbers here. Do you wish to proceed with dyno test? Let's do it. Ah, you don't get to see the car. What? Ah, the car used to be in the background. This is kind of weird. I don't like that. Whatever, just run it. Rev her out. Put it in the ketchup. Hit that rev limiter. All right, yeah, 454, 167 horse gain. So that's pretty sweet. I'm glad, uh, yeah, 450. That's good, 454. I'll take it. Pretty slick. All right, so that, that's dope. We'll go ahead and move this back outside. Why not? Uh, and, uh, yeah, now we know what she makes. So factory torque and then measured power Woo! yeah baby yeah we pretty much doubled the horsepower by building her out so I think that was worth it did it increase the value probably not is it, it's worth it's worth 95 grand so it's still worth the same even though we dynoed it I don't know how you tune them I'll have to look into that I still don't know some of the new stuff about this game but I'm eh, still fucking around with it you know all right, let's jump back inside, and uh, we'll, I guess we'll go ahead. We should probably just start putting all the suspension stuff under it and get all that stuff done. Then we'll work on the engine and uh, get it going. So let's raise this baby up and get going. All right. Let's uh, get the subframe in the front here. Oh, both of the subframes were trash. You got to be kidding me. Well, that's a bummer. I'm telling you, a lot of a lot of the parts, I'd say 30-40% of the parts on this whole car were probably garbage. So, yeah, we're going to have to get that. All right, it wasn't too expensive. 263 bucks, whatever. It is what it is. So, let's see what else we got. Hopefully, 
uh, we got enough stuff to uh, finish her up. But yeah, whatever I don't have is stuff from both cars that just wasn't repairable that I'll have to buy. But for the most part, I think I did pretty good, honestly. We got a bad knuckle over there. Shoot. Had to buy new tie rods. Always got to buy new tie rods. And we're out of bushings. Dang it. All right, we got some more bushings. Man, I go through them things like like candies, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, we got some sway bar end links. Those are not replaceable either. And I had to buy new struts, obviously, because you cannot fix those. But, like, all these control arms were all fixable. So I had, you know, I had, I had four of everything, pretty much. Like, all those control arms, you know, so... Had, I had quite a bit of stuff. Whoops, I hit the wrong button, I think. And we need a front wheel hub. It looks like we were only able to save one of those. That's a bummer. We got new wheel bearings, new caps. And then I do have new brakes for this also, but let's jump over to the other side and we'll get this side going. I had to buy a new knuckle. We got new tie rods, of course. Lower control arm. Upper control arm. I know I saved thousands of dollars by repairing all this stuff. Because you can repair... You know, once you get your skill level up, you can repair most of these parts for next to nothing. I mean, we're talking a couple bucks here and there. So, I mean, if you don't have to buy a bunch of parts, you save a lot of money. Alright, front wheel hub. Had to get one of those. Put the hub bearing in. Bearing cap. I guess we can throw the brakes on. Uh, I got these badass rotors for the front. New pads. I know we got calipers and brakes, so we're good to go. There we go. Let's jump over to the other side if I can get over there. Uh, we're going to use these. We're going to use the other ones on the rear. Oh, yeah. This is so satisfying seeing it come together. All right. Let's get our fuel tank in. Should have a new one. Always got to buy a new fuel tank. And I got a high-performance fuel pump. And I think I still need to buy exhaust pipes, but uh, we got the, we got a rear end. At least one of them was savable. Uh, you always got to buy new rear shocks. Those are not repairable, so we got new shocks. But yeah, all this stuff was all fixable, man. So yeah, I saved a ton of money. I mean, I don't know if I really saved a ton of money because I had to buy the other car, but I mean. I still got some parts left over, so it's all good. And this was just an experiment, really, anyways, trying a donor car thing. We got plenty of U-bolts. Uh, we got bushings. Come on now, we're getting it, we're getting it. I really wish you could do a rear disc brake conversion, so we'd have disc brakes, like front up here. Or back here. But that's okay. We'll put some shoes on there. Oh, we weren't able to fix any shoes. So we need some shoes. And I know I probably need drums. Yep, we can't fix the drums. So we need shoe and drum. Drum going in. There we go. Let's jump to the other side. Let's get the leaf spring in there. Making pretty good time so far i can't wait to get to the engine though Woo! we're gonna have us a big boy blower motor on this thing man it's gonna look sweet in there all right but yeah we're making pretty good time I'm trying to go as fast as i can man Woo! 
All right, let's get our wheel cylinder in there, shoes, and our drum. And I think that is it for the rear suspension. Uh, pipes, we might have some pipes. I don't know. We do. I must have bought some pipes already. Nice. All right, so we'll wait to get these in there after we get the motor in. So I think right now, I think we can jump straight over to the uh, engine bench. <clears throat> and get working on the engine. Because she's ready now. Woo! Damn, this thing looks good. Alright, let's get this uh, engine going here. Uh, let's see. Add. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to add. Oh, wait. Can I just put it on there? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's do this. We've got our fresh machined up engine block. All this stuff was repairable practically except for all the performance parts I did buy which is like pistons you know you'll see as we go you'll see I'm not gonna name it all off right now so let's get going let's get the crankshaft bearings in this baby so we can start laying in the pistons voila we got high performance pistons You know the deal, folks. We're going all out on this one again. Just like the Nissan Skyline over there. I bought every performance part I could. And it's actually kind of ba uh, like breaking the bank a little bit. Like, I mean, I'm down to 182 grand. Well, 20 of that went toward the dyno room, but whatever so we're definitely gonna have to sell either both of these cars after this or at least one of them try to recoup some of our losses here but business is good all right let's get the oil pan on and we'll flip this baby over it shouldn't take long, maybe five to seven minutes, hopefully, get this baby built up. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate this around. And we'll keep going. High performance heads. Slap these babies on. Bam. Let's get our high performance alternator on there. Woo! Uh, we did get high performance power steering pump as well. Uh, we got high performance fuel filter, high performance camshaft, high performance coil. <clears throat> I mean, we got it all, folks. We got it all. If this thing don't burn rubber, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be pretty mad. <laughs> Let's get our crankshaft pulley on. The agua pump. We gotta have some agua pump. You know. All right. Let's jump over to the sides. Let's get these uh, high performance plugs in there. All right. Oh, I think I just leveled up. Woo! Level 38. Alright. Let's go to the other side. Let's get these plugs in. The little sparkulator pluggers. And we'll get our exhaust header on. Bam. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. 
I think I got belts. I hope I got belts. Let's get our distributor in there. We got high performance distributor, rotor, and cap and wires we'll wait to put the wires on here let's go ahead and get our uh, valve train in here this is probably the most tedious part right here oh come on now Oh yeah, two more. And then we got to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Good old V8 life. Alright, let's get over to the other side get that done. Alright, last one. Woohoo! Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. We can plop our wires on now. High performance wires. Do I got clips? Oh, yeah, we got some clips. No, oh, not the intake. I can't see the clip, folks. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Can't forget those. All right, let's get our uh, high performance supercharger intake manifold on here. I mean, I'm telling you, I went all out. We're, we're doing it. And then we got high performance blower. And I got three of them I need to sell. <laughs> That'll recuperate some money. I do need to sell a lot of parts. I got a lot of parts I do need to sell. I got extras of everything. Let's put our uh, supercharger belt on. And I should have this belt. Yes. And then we should have a fan. Yes, two of them. We must have been able to save both of those. And then up here on top, I got two high performance four barrel carburetors as well. So we're doing it, man. We got everything high performance. And high performance air cleaners. Uh huh, yeah. And our air scoop. All right, folks, that is it. The engine is built. Woohoo! There she is in all her glory. Hell yeah. All right, we'll uh, get this thing off the stand here, and we'll head over to the car. Bam. Let's get this baby ready to drop in here. All right, let's jam over here. I forgot I got to get the damn engine hoist over here. Let's get this thing put in. Install. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Woo! Look at that. All right. Damn, it looks good in there, folks. <laughs> uh, we do need our battery. Let's take our battery. And uh, I might have to buy some of the bottles and stuff for up here, but we'll see what we got. Let's put our fresh battery in. Do I need one of these? No, we were able to save one. Power steering reservoir. I might have one. I do. Washer reservoir, good, good. Um, let's go ahead and put the fuse panel thing in. Looks like I was able to save both of those. That's good. I need. I'm probably gonna need more fuses. Yep. Okay, that's real nice. Are these both the same? No. Okay. So we need some more of them brown ones. Ah, that one is bad. Well, it's not bad. It's old. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. So we need some relay C's and some of these brown ones. All right. Got, got some new fuses and new relays over here. <clears throat> oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? 
There we go. All right, do we have a radiator? Yes, we do. Looks like we were able to save both of those. So that's sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting some fluids in this baby. Put the old PS fluid in there. That's good. Let's see if we can get to the radiator over here. Let's fill her up, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, drink it up, baby. Alright, and then we cannot forget to put oil in this beautiful engine. Let's do it. Mmm, yeah. Ha. Alright, that should be plenty. So I think that's it for underneath the hood. Oh god, I forgot to put windshield washer fluid in this baby. We gotta have the washer fluid. Oh yeah. Alright, that's uh, looking good for that. Alright, so now we need to... Uh, raise it up, finish the exhaust, put the transmission in. I don't know, I don't think I have a high-performance high transmission for this thing, but we're about to find out. Uh, do I have these pipes? I have one. Why only one? So I need another pipe. Alright, we got this pipe. Let's get it in there. We got high-performance clutch stuff. Gotta have that. Pressure plate. Oh my god, I don't have any more clutch release bearings. Alright. Okay, got that. I did get a high performance transmission. I got two of them I need to sell. I might just keep them for another job. It's always good to have parts laying around. Okay, do we got a starter? We do. Let's get the drive shaft in there. Why isn't it? There we go. Come on now. Come on. Woohoo! We got one drive shaft. Brand new. That's awesome. Alright, I think that's it. Mechanical wise, I believe everything is in here. So now we just need to throw some wheels and tires on it. Uh, I did get some wheels and tires. Hopefully they are the right size. I made up a wheel size and tire size for this thing. So these are the wheels I chose. Don't know how they're going to look on the car, but it is what it is. So they are all 18-inch wheels. And we got uh, some 285s for the back. Or did I only order one? I think I only ordered one. Dang it. I'm going to have to buy me another tire, folks. Let's go ahead and mount up the fronts. Or is it over here? No. Yeah, yeah. I must have only ordered one. Okay, I figured it out. They are hiding over here in the corner. 255, 45, 18s. These are the tires. Hopefully, man, I hope these fit. Uh, these are probably going to look like crap on there, but whatever. I don't know, alright? Sometimes you just guess.
All right, I think that was all of those. Let's balance all these up. throw these on hopefully they look good and fit <laughs> so we're going 255 45 18s in the rears I'm pretty sure yeah which I probably could have went a little wider but I don't know Let's throw the uh, body panels on this thing and finish it up. Let's go ahead and get our hood on. Did have to buy a new hood. Like I said, I pretty much had to buy everything new for the body because it was all trash. Couldn't repair it. <clears throat> Let's get the headlights in, the bumpers on. We got fresh doors because the doors were trash, the mirrors weren't there. So yeah. Kinda sucks. Bumper, we got tail lights. We need to make some plates for it, but um, I think it's looking pretty good. So let's drop it down. If it'll let me, come on now. Ah, there we go. She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. Now we just need to get some paint on her and see if she starts. Um, but we do need to put some interior in it. So let's do that real quick. Should only take a second. Fresh steering wheel. Uh, I bought these uh, cool looking like bucket racing seats for it. Uh, I think they look pretty good in there. They fit the car actually really nice. So there you go. Sick, sick. All right, let's uh, move this baby to the paint booth. And then we can also see if it starts right here. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, she's alive, man. Woo! Gotta hit that limiter, you know. Oh, yeah. Whoa, man. All right. She sounds pretty good, man. Sweet. Wheels, they're growing on me. They look better than I thought they would. I think they could have been maybe a Tad bit wider, but I don't know. It's it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it had little 14s on it. Now we got 18s on there. So yeah, we big balling up in this bitch, you know. All right, let's paint this damn thing. I'm thinking. 
I mean, I'm I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna go maybe like a flat black on this thing. Where's the mat at? Oh yeah, the black baby. Hmm. Woo! She looks pretty sexy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like the ghost stripes, you know? That looks pretty sick, right? Yeah, I think we're going to go with the uh, ghost stripes. I like it. I like it. It looks good, man. Let's do it. Sick. All right, man. Let's go ahead and move it outside. Maybe take a look at it. See how she looks outside. Damn, boy. This shit turned out nice. Oof. Yeah, boy. Look at that baby. Sick. Alright folks, that's going to do it man. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. We finally got both auction vehicles done. The only thing I think this is missing is the license plates, which I'll do that off camera. Who gives a shit, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see how much it's worth. It's worth 74 grand if we sell it right now. Our profit was 66 grand. $242. So, yeah, not bad. It wasn't worth as much as I thought it would be, but I think uh, we'll take it for one quick test drive and uh, we'll see how she does. So, let's do that. Let's go ahead and head to the old speed track. I'll see you guys there. <gasps> the wheels are not aligned. Oh, no. Well, we got to align her first. I totally forgot to align this bad boy. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, that's horrible. <laughs> Alright, let's align her up. Can't be driving down the drag strip with her on, with her not aligned, you know. I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't want everything zeroed out, but whatever. There you go. And I think this is our headlight adjustment. I always forget to do this too. Alright. There we go. Oh, not... Well, yeah, I guess we can move it back outside, man. Jesus. Alright, let's go for a drive. Speed track. Let's go. Ooh, 
Man, she looks good, dude. I like the black. It turned out nice. I kind of pictured this car being black, and yeah, it looked good. Wheels turned out pretty good. I like it. Let's hit it. Second gear burner. It's only a four speed, so she ain't gonna go super fast. Oh, yeah. Getting it, boy. I like that second gear shift. <laughs> Where's the car? Oh, God, we're off in the boonies. <laughs> Folks, that's gonna do it. She's pretty warmed up now. <laughs> All right, guys, let's head back to the shop and uh, we'll send you guys off. All right, folks, we are back at the shop. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I'd like to remind you guys if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're hanging out watching the video, subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, there'll be some more to come. Uh, let me know in the comments if you, uh, what, what was your favorite part of this episode or this auction series. The Nissan over there or this, uh, Hellcat thing right here. Uh, it's all good, you know, leave me some feedback. I'd appreciate that. But, uh, hit that subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Peace out.